All right, so this would be my middle school lesson. Um, this could uh, be taught to the sixth, seventh, or eighth grade levels, uh, depending on which classes I'm in charge of that particular day, uh, since health and physical education teachers are K through 12 certification. Um, this could be taught with the same effectiveness to any of those three grade levels, the sixth, seventh, or eighth. Um, I would do this as like a uh, smoking prevention day. Um, something I have noticed when doing my research for um, this particular lesson, um, as a health and physical educator, we have been doing a pretty good job of getting the numbers down whenever it comes to teen smoking and uh, things like that. Um, some numbers that I saw from a study, uh, I think it was like the Tobacco Center, um, something like that. For in 2011, um, I think we were at the number of sixth graders who were reported had smoked or used tobacco in the last 30 days was at an alarming like 10.4% or something like that. And we've got that number down to under 2%. But that doesn't mean that our job's done. Obviously, we need to keep stressing this as a big point to kids. Because I mean, it's obviously highly addictive and once kids start picking it up, it's real hard for them to put it down. Um, so I would talk with them about some of the things I just mentioned. Um, and then we would go into this PowerPoint that I had made. Um, PowerPoint, I couldn't get it pulled up on the big screen, so I'm just gonna show you on my laptop. Um, oh, I did, didn't mention what the standard was there. I, I did have it in front of you. It was, students will comprehend content related to the health promotion and disease prevention to enhance health. And the performance indicator 6.1.11 summarized the dangers of experimenting with tobacco products and the benefits of being drug free. Um, so I just kind of have that up there for students to see. And like I said, we'd go into this PowerPoint. I think a good PowerPoint um, that would be very effective for the kids are ones with a lot of visuals. Um, things that visually, I mean, you can tell a kid the deterrent or why they shouldn't smoke and things like that. But I mean, for me as a middle schooler, I know the pictures and um, little things that of like, say body parts that are brought in like, um, smokers lungs that uh, you can have a display of things like that are what really kept me from smoking myself that those played a bigger role so i, I just kind of made this little powerpoint um, and i'd go through first i'd have some like little true or false questions with the kids um and, and throughout this there would be a lot of open discussion i'd encourage little comments questions things like that um i mean you definitely want to answer any kind of questions they have or whatnot. Um, and then you just kind of go through and we discuss the dangers of smoking. Why? You see the slide smoking is cool. I forgot to put my question mark there because that is not a statement. That is a question because um, then we go into the false. Um, and you just keep going through. And like I said, the more visuals would definitely be better. Um, and it's things that those are the type of things that really stand out to the children um, or to the students. And, uh, and yeah, that's kind of the lesson there. And uh, that, like I said, would be my smoking prevention day for my middle school classes. Thank you.